Today, boys and girls, we're going to travel to Kenya in Africa and talk about the Maasai tribe and their collar necklaces. As you see in these pictures, these beautiful collar necklaces represent their lifestyle. So in the next slide, you will see that each color has a meaning. Blue for water, white purity, black the people, orange hospitality, green is for land and health, red is for bravery and strength, and yellow is energy. To create our collar necklace today, we're going to use a paper plate. So to start off with, we'll take our paper plate and press it down flat a little bit to make it a little bit easier to color. Turn your plate back over to the front side. That's the side you eat off of. Using some crayons with no paper, we're going to color in our paper plate. We're going to start in the middle of the plate. Now, as you're coloring, think about what you want to represent in your collar necklace. I started off with orange, so that means I have some hospitality in my collar necklace. I'm using some red, so maybe I've got some bravery and some strength. So you want to use the colors you want to represent in your collar necklace. So as I go around my coloring, I'm going to make sure I'm going around the circle of the plate. So I've got some green, that's land and health in my collar necklace. As you see, I'm coloring that circular motion. And I'm gonna continue coloring on my paper plate until I completely fill it up. Now, as you color along the outside edge, you do have those ridges and that will create an interesting texture and pattern in your collar necklace. That'll add some extra detail to your work, which is kind of a good thing without much work. So I've got mine almost colored here. So now I'm going to think about taking a black crayon and I'm going to first trace along that outside edge of that inside circle on my paper plate. So I'm going to go around that circle with my black crayon. And then I'm going to think about adding some other circles inside of my plate, maybe tracing around the orange color and maybe the red. I'm going to trace around it. All I'm adding is more symbols into my work. So now I'm going to go along the outside edge with the black. So I'm adding a lot about the people into my collar necklace because black represents the people. So I'm going along the edge here, getting that colored in, just using the side of my crayon. Now I'm going to think about maybe adding in some other colors on top of the color. So here's some red. So I'm adding some bravery and strength onto my collar necklace in this circle. And when you think about these collar necklaces, the Maasai tribe wouldn't use a paper plate. They actually made their collar necklaces from glass beads. They would string them together and then string those strings together to make their circular necklace to go around their neck. So it would take a lot of glass beads. And before they used glass beads, they would use tiny stones or bones and they would color them with paint. So here you see I've added some yellow into my work. So I've got my circles done. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna add one more. I'm gonna add a blue circle there, sorry about that. So I'm gonna add one more circle into my work using that curved line around the paper plate. Now I'm gonna think about adding some extra detail on top of this. So I'm gonna add in some circles with bingo daubers. So I'm gonna use a color or two I think I'm gonna choose green here. And I'm gonna take my green bingo dopper and I'm going to put some circles along the outside edge in the blue. Now remember when you use a bingo dopper, we don't shake it, we don't bang it, and we don't squeeze. That makes the bingo dopper a little upset and it might splatter all over your paper plate. As you see, I'm getting ready to describe here, you don't shake it, don't squeeze it, and do not bang it on the table. So now I'm gonna choose a second color and I'm gonna add some more circles into the center of my paper mm -hmm. plate. So I've got some red here. And if the bingo dopper doesn't work right away, just give another push on it and see if it doesn't start to make the dot. So I've got my red circles there inside that center area. Now I'm gonna flip my paper plate over and I'm going to draw a pencil line circle along that inside circle of the paper plate. You see there, then we'll think about adding two diagonal lines coming from that inside circle, coming out to the edge of my plate. Now, I don't want to make this too wide, but I want to take about an inch or so chunk out of that extra rim. 
Now I've X'd out that little spot there because I do not want to cut in that area. So now with my scissors, I'm gonna cut along the pencil line, starting with one nice long cut all the way around. And I'm sorry, boys and girls, my picture is not in the camera, but I'm cutting along that pencil line. I'm sure I'm doing an excellent job. You do yours the same way, go a little slow, Make sure you stay on your pencil line and do not cut your plate into several pieces. It should come apart in two pieces, an inside piece and the outside ring. So as you can see here, I've got two pieces now. So now I'm gonna think about putting those two pieces together using my glue stick. So I'm gonna turn over the circle part, put lots of glue at the top of it. Make sure I match it up to the top where the opening of the circle plate is. As you can see, I'm line, showing it up, right? Line it up. And then I'm gonna press down really good to make sure it is stuck. Turn it over and give a good squeeze and massage the back side of the plate to make sure they're sticking together and they won't fall apart. And there I go. I have a finished collared necklace, just like the people from Kenya in Africa called the Maasai tribe. Enjoy.